So we are with our first episode of VP's Integrated Bridge podcast, where we are bringing our corporate people and knowing about their journey as a student to corporate. Our today's guest is Mr. Purav Bhatt, who is a well-endowed manufacturing sector professional, author of Amazon best-selling, founder and CEO of Career Architect, and a great mentor who takes charge of the journey and mid-career professional. I feel an immense pleasure in inviting him to our first op- episode of the podcast. Thank you, sir, for taking the out time out of your busy schedule and sparing some time for us. Thanks, Asta. Happy to be here. Always happy to uh, address students. So it's my pleasure to be here with you, and I hope whatever I share uh, serves the purpose and is helpful for the students. Yes, sir. Sir, I for uh, firstly I wanted to ask you about your uh, Amazon bestseller book. Like, can you take us to the journey of writing this book? Sure, Asta. Uh, it was indeed a long journey. Uh, I started. I started my mission ten million for students, through which I want to influence the campus to corporate journey of students. And this thought came to me. Uh, when i gave my first lecture to the students uh, in the year 2019 yes early 2019 i conducted a session for students and i realized that the thought process of the students is still the same uh, which i had as a student and they were they were running after the grades certificates and uh, securing good marks in the in the exams and the only target was the campus placement mm-hmm. it was at that point i realized there is a huge gap the industry has changed but the thought process of the students is not changing and somebody has to work on this at mm-hmm. this point i started my mission 10 million and my only target at that point in time was to visit the institutes at that time there was no pandemic so i was fortunate to go in person to a lot of institutes and i started conducting a lot of sessions but in all these sessions i had a variety of questions coming from students and then i realized that to ensure that the connect with the students is for a longer period i should have something documented so hence i started documenting my journey my experiences in my own journey and my interactions with the corporate world how did it uh, change over a period of time and what were the realities of the uh, corporate journey which i should have known much before so i started documenting my journey and it turned out uh, into a book so it took me a year to compile everything all the real experiences and also talk to a lot of people mm-hmm. and one of the most important purpose of writing the book was to reach more and more students i cannot limit myself because of my unavailability or my busy schedule so the book also helped me to reach a lot of more students without me going personally and yes it was making a lot of sense for the students and it became the best seller so i am also thankful to all the students who continued reading the book who are still reading the book and who are trying to follow the journey yes sir we, uh, i also read this book nice. sir uh, you are known for influencing students journey so and you also started mission 10 million uh, so can you give some insights about the mission 10 million which you have started definitely asta i did shared already something about the mission but when i started the mission in 2019 as i mentioned i started visiting the colleges and connecting with the uh, management of the colleges at that point in time the only purpose of mission 10 million was to is to enlighten the students the mission statement is to influence the campus to corporate journey of 10 million students i don't want you all to commit the same mistakes that i have committed in my journey and i was late in correcting the mistakes 
so i want your journeys to be different i want you all to realize the reality much before and start taking the actions in fact the disruptions are happening so fast unlike before the technology is changing the business models are changing so i want the students to stay in touch with the changing business models the changing industry and design yourself in a way that sorry that you are compatible with the industry so when i started my mission the biggest challenge for me was to reach the students but it is said that you have to begin somewhere so when i started it was just a few colleges where i had my own contacts in fact the colleges where i was an alumni so i visited the colleges with the help of students i started connecting with other institutes and it was the students who helped me reach reach other institutes some students also became part of the mission they started driving the mission and then i expanded into just from delivering lectures we started a mission 10 million magazine wherein the contribution was coming from students uh, they were writing articles i wanted the students also to write something because writing is also something which is very important in the corporate journey how you put down your thoughts in the mission journey then i also started podcasts wherein we had students on one side and the industry experts on the other side so as i progressed i realized which are the areas where the students need more practice or more exposure i have seen many other institutes who are working for students unfortunately i realized that it is still not the practical way where they try to improve the communication skills of students with theoretical uh uh, uh i would say training a presentation skills with classroom training i realized these trainings are still too slow in bringing the change so i brought the students on the platform with the industry experts where they talk with the industry experts and i got a lot of positive results for the students so mission 10 million is growing now it has been 3 years in the journey and i would also like to share uh in august 2021 uh, mission 10 million also got the award from indians indian achievers forum i mean the award was for me but it was because of the mission that i am driving so that was a long journey it is still continuing and the students are getting connected with the journey yes asta that's yes. it about mission 10 million lessons for sir for for your mission 10 million it's it's been a great success so sir i want to ask that how to lower the difference between theoretical and practical knowledge like in in the book you have given various theoretical examples and various differences you have given so how to convert into practical how to implement it practically so asta it's it's very simple when you enter the college okay one of the end goal of the college of the education journey is to get into the corporate world that is one of the end goal yes. so all the students can have a few options the options could be they go for further education maybe you all are in the engineering journey and many of you would like to go for further education yes few of you or many of you would like to have their own startups the trend is going towards startups and many of you would step into a new job into into their first job that is their first step in the corporate world so these are the only few options which you all have okay and we don't need more options now for all these options the one thing which is required is you start engaging with the real world your institutes are in closed walls and you have a process to follow or you have some limitations that this is what is your course this is the syllabus and unfortunately majority of the students keep working based on the textbooks 
what i would ask them to do is start engaging with the corporate world start engaging with the real world if you are planning to go for further education start engaging with the universities who are offering the courses that you want start engaging with the people who have been through the courses at the end of the day you have to know what is the reality and these are the people who can share their knowledge with you the people who have traveled the journey which you want to travel so as a student the first advice that i would give to all of you is start engaging with the real world that you should start from day 1 as you are in your corporate journey in your campus journey i am sorry so start talking to the people in the industry and believe me if you are doing this proactively they will also help you but you have to put efforts the first move has to happen from your end start adding value to them and they will start adding value to you yes sir so this is how you implement the theoretical world and you blend the theoretical world and the real world yes i wanted to ask like you just told to engage with corporate people right so as a beginner like how can we engage with them what Good are the question. basics that, like we, we should do this is the this is one of the most asked questions that i get that as a yeah. beginner how do we engage with the corporates see we have been traditionally we always talk to people with the intention of asking for help if i look at my journey as an engineer when in the third year of engineering i had to do a internship okay and and these words might sound very familiar a uh, industrial uh, internship or industrial project so i started approaching uh, my uh, 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 let me say uh, some known people who were working in the corporate world this i started in the third year of my engineering that now next month i have to do a project do you have something can you offer me something and the first question that came was what would you like to do so i said i don't know what you have i will take whatever you have so this was the first mistake i was not clear about what i want i was not clear about what i want to do at the end of my engineering and hence i took whatever they offered and you know what i was in a asking mode please give me something and the only purpose was a certificate at the end of 2 months a letter which said that yes puro has done a project in our organization and i was supposed to submit that in my university i had no clarity till the end of engineering where i want to go as a next step now as a beginner what you should start doing coming to your question start exploring what are your areas of interest in today's world the resources are not limited there are platforms which are offering you hell lot of knowledge so if today you are not clear what will be your next step after 4 years don't worry but there has to be some areas of interest it could be 10 different areas of interest which you want to read about it also could be the latest trends in the industry that you can start reading about so if i talk about your university your uh, community of students oil and gas is something which you would be definitely interested in reading about something related to data science artificial intelligence machine learning are topics of interest start reading about these topics on the platforms you have many uh, i would say resources attending webinars attending live sessions of speakers and one of the most important platform which i always promote yeah. is linkedin so start reading the first step i would say to all the students when you ask me pura how can i as a beginner engage or start interacting with the people in the corporate world the first thing that comes to our mind is i call someone and i say i am a first year student i am a second year student and uh, then you stuck you are stuck what to talk next so rather than following the traditional conventional approach 
start reading what these experts are writing on the platforms and start engaging with them on their content start adding value to their content ask them questions so first position yourself as someone who is interested who is actually reading a lot so the first step of engagement is or the first step to connect with them is start engaging with them on the platforms do not think of talking to them directly that is not how you start engaging with them comment on what are they writing add value to the platforms add value to the content from others appreciate what they are writing if you really find it interesting start becoming visible the first step asta is start becoming visible yes sir. and this you can definitely do in the first year itself nobody stops you yes sir you have to do this consistently mm. and when you start doing this you will also realize or you will start getting a feedback from them so the doors will gradually open but when the doors open don't go and start asking for help and that's why i always say start engaging when you don't need to engage when you do not have a reason because if you have a reason then you make a mistake of asking for help so engage without a reason engage with intentions but not reasons so so the way i perceive it is the first thing is to have a clear goal and exploring interest and through various resources be proactive in various areas and interest and indeed it's super insightful and i can't forget about uh, reading the and exploring the linkedin and also uh, add value to the content and be vis- visible thank you sir for this uh, advice sir i wanted to ask you about uh, like we as an engineer we all have a dream company so can you guide us how to take that dream dream company and how to take an intern and a job in it like what should what skills should we develop yes asta before before i answer this question one thing i would like to clarify is don't try to have a clear goal there is nothing like a clear goal okay the biggest mistake people and not students even people in the corporate journey they try to have a clear goal yes sir. and they invest too much time in getting this clarity that they miss taking actions pehle ek bar goal clear ho jaye uske baad main actions lena shuru karungi hmm. don't make that mistake start with less clarity it's okay but monitor monitor the um, approach monitor the progress you might change your goals as you move forward that is there is no problem in changing goals we are humans we make mistakes we correct mistakes the only thing we should not forget is taking actions so today if you want to start your engagement journey which could be attending webinars attending seminars at, uh, joining forums go and join don't ask questions whether this is right for me or not as i always shared in my sessions with students you are in a protected environment right now take all the risk here do all the trial and error here that doesn't mean that you will not have to take risk in the corporate world but you will get used to it so start taking all the actions right now so that you get used to taking risks doing trial and error when you are in the corporate world but the accuracy will be higher all yes. the trial and errors that you do in the corporate world the probability of getting success would be relatively higher now coming to your question if i would be the happiest person if asta you can tell what is your dream company if you can tell me one dream company i can guarantee you that i can help you to get a job the problem is putting down the list of dream companies is a challenge for the students if you if you can write down five dream companies today let's assume a scenario that you have put down five dream companies okay the first thing that i would tell you is 
when you make the list of dream companies do not think are they coming to the campus interview or not do not start your dreams with limitations with boundaries dreams are dreams you should not have limits so do not put a criteria that from the 20 companies which are coming for the campus these are my five dream companies no putting down our dream companies doesn't start from the bottom it starts from the top that if there are no barriers which are the companies that i would like to work with whether they are coming for campus or not that is not a criteria write down list of the five dream companies names of the five dream companies and start exploring them on all the possible sources linkedin is one of the best source today going forward we might have some other resources also so start exploring what these companies are doing what challenges are they facing today and how are they solving the challenges what are the future plans of the company you have to read a lot about these companies as you start reading also start finding the right people who are active on linkedin right people who are visiting forums as a speaker and people who are interacting with students who are accessible so let's say if one of your dream companies is amazon start exploring what amazon is doing start finding the people from amazon who are active on the platform because you can engage with them only if they are active if they are not active it is difficult to start engaging with them on the platforms you can start reading about jeff bezos his his biography what is he doing what are his plans so like this maybe you can invest 3 months in exploring so let's make it sophisticated let's make it systematic if you have a list of five companies you invest 3 months in exploring then you invest another 3 months in engaging with the people not by connecting with them by adding value to their content so let's say you have a 6 months journey in getting this clarity and post that you start writing your own content which is relevant for them and then you start connecting with them in one year you will have at least at least okay this is minimum at least 20 good connections from each company 20 good connections from each company so you know 100 people in the corporate world who are working in your dream companies or who were working they might have changed the companies in the year but you have connected with 100 people now by the time you come for an internship if you have a list of dream companies then you should do an internship in those companies for internships it doesn't matter whether they are coming for campus or not an internship is one of the best opportunity to engage with the entire organization at all levels and i assume as an engineer there are two times that you have a official internship opportunity in the third year and the fourth year yes. am i correct do you have two opportunities yes. correct yes unfortunately unfortunately the system has not changed 15 years ago when i did my engineering at that time also there were two opportunities today also there are two opportunities <laughs> so in both these opportunities you should do your internship at your dream companies and leave an impact leave an impact that you keep the doors open when you want a job the most important thing here is be consistent in taking actions i don't want you to take all the actions in one month i want you to take small steps every day for next three years believe me nobody can stop you from getting your dream job you talked about uh, like we are we should follow our uh, dream and go in that dream company only so i want to ask you about how to come out of the comfort zone that we have and 
follow our passion like if we want to start a startup and our passion is to start a startup but still we are getting a job offer but like how to follow our passion and just come so, out of so the first thing as you asked me is how to come out of i actually want to ask like how to take the risk hmm. like there is a risk yeah. in following the passion what is the risk so risk is uh, like we start uh, if we start a startup and we are investing hmm. some money in it and i was uh, being offered a job earlier hmm. and i just refused it i just rejected it and started my own startup so hmm. how to how will i motivate myself to do this like yes the first thing the first thing asta which you spoke is i want to invest money believe me any startup doesn't start with money it starts with passion it starts with efforts unfortunately unfortunately the problem with people who want to start their startup they talk about money first where yes. do i get the investment money is not a problem the problem is your belief how confident you are about your idea money comes last money doesn't come first so how confident you are about your idea that want you want to put into action and what efforts are you doing have you created a blueprint of your idea the road map of your idea have you done the required survey that you were supposed to after doing all this you develop a lot of confidence whether your idea will work or not and then you do a probability mapping what is the probability of my idea becoming successful how much money do you need and from where in how much time do you need money so it requires some background work some homework has to be done and when you do this homework and then you have got two options whether i go for a startup or i get into a job offer which i already have then you can take a calculated risk then you will be able to take a calculated risk whether i should leave the job opportunity and take a risk of this much okay or shall i go with the job so this decision requires homework to be done and nobody does this homework genuinely that is the biggest problem you talk about money where will i get the money ask yourself where is the idea to convince someone there are people ready to give you money come with a concrete idea execution plan nobody gives a guarantee of success so the first thing in a startup is you have to take a risk there is no guarantee of success yes sir 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 uh, like we talked about the dream company and how to get the intern and job in it sir the uh, other thing which we always uh, have uh, uh, is always tense to office job security like in this mm. fast changing world we are uh, what skills and should be focus on to sustain in a job for 40 years or so like Mm. So basically my question is on job security so asta there is there is no security okay there is no job security anywhere okay you have to ensure that you are as you rightly use the word which are the skills that you should learn but the second thing that you spoke for 40 years yes sir in so this if you, if changing world like every day the changing day. world yes yes so uh, the book that i am writing the book for professionals i have captured some things from uh, the consulting firms which do a lot of research and when i read across many such articles there was one common thing which they said all of them that the shelf life of skills is going down shelf life means if you talk about 1980s or 1990s if you had one skill the shelf life of that skill was 
approximately 15 years that is you can survive with that skill for 15 years in your journey now this shelf life is less than three years so if you learn a skill today you can only survive not even grow you can just survive with that skill for less than three years so today if you ask me which skills shall i have to survive for 40 years i would say there is no answer to this yes. you have to continuously keep learning and to keep learning you should know what you have to learn because there are ample of resources available people are coming up with free certificates also each course offers you a certificate and this is a mindset which students have to change if the entire world is running after certificates believe me certificates have no value if you are getting these for free so to understand what to learn you have to be resourceful start reading what is going on in the industry and this can be done with the help of a network of professionals when you continuously stay connected to them when you continuously stay reading what is happening in the world you will also understand which are the skills that i need to adapt i need to learn so that i can continue my growth so it is a continuous journey keep reading keep networking and keep learning and keep growing keep making mistakes and keep correcting mistakes but it is a it there is nothing like a job security if you are looking for security you have to compromise on growth